Beleaguered Chinese tycoon Jai Yuting is poised to relinquish e-car startup Faraday Future. According to the British Virgin Islands, ordered his shareholding in the company frozen. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court ordered just 33% shares in Faraday Future frozen, pending the outcome of an appeal by Two Win Capital, one of the major investors in Lurcher, a company Ja formerly owned. The Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court has jurisdiction in Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Anguilla, Montserrat and the British Virgin Islands. It has unlimited jurisdiction in each member state. Season Smart, Faraday Futures' ultimate controller, is registered in the British Virgin Islands. The court, also based in the British Virgin Islands, last week favored to win capital and froze Jazz's 33% stake in the firm, which he held through straw men and offshore companies. The judgment gives an effect to an award the Beijing Arbitration Commission handed down against Jia in January. The founder of tech conglomerate Le Echo Group got in hot water as heavy debt crushed his business last year. Jia stayed in self-imposed exile in the U.S. after Beijing Securities Regulatory Bureau demanded his return to China before last year's end. This latest development might just mark end game for Jia and his once mighty empire.